welcome to the Maddie Talks Asian Show. Here with us today, we have Lazy, the 4-year-old empress who created Silk. She is here with us to share her life and Silk experiences. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for having me. The pleasure is mine. Now tell me, how did you come up with the idea for Silk? Well, it was actually an accident. You see, I was in my garden picking cocoons when I accidentally dropped one into my teacup. When I pulled it out, I noticed that it was unwound into one filament. Then I noticed a damaged mulberry bush, and on that mulberry bush was a silk worm, worm spinning silk. I picked up the silk and found that it could be unwound into a light but strong cloth. So I had my workmen build reels and looms so I could weave the silk. Wow, what an achievement. Now how many steps are there in making silk? There are six steps. And what are those steps? The first step is to harvest and raise the silk mm, cocoons. The second step is to extract the silk. The third step is to dye it. The fourth step is to spin the silk. The fifth step is to weave it. The, and the sixth and final step is to bind the silk together. Wow, that's a lot of steps. Moving on from silk, what was life like in the 28th century BC? In my perspective, life was peaceful. I was married to the Yellow King, and we loved to take walks through our huge uh, palace gardens. Wow, it sounds beautiful. Now, were you treated well as a woman? Actually, as a woman, I didn't have very many rights. I was treated more like a pet than a person. I'm sorry about that. Now, aside from the time that you live in, what other time would you have rather lived in? Honestly, I would rather live in modern times because there are more rights and and the technology is better. Plus, in my opinion, the uh, clothes are more comfortable. Well, now let's review our ancient China history with this video. <laughs> of silk is woven together with the history of the Chinese people. According to legend, more than 5,000 years ago, the Empress Lei Zhu accidentally dropped a silkworm cocoon into her teacup. She found that the threads unwound into a long, soft thread that she could weave into a beautiful cloth. The secret of silk making was guarded for thousands of years. Traders brought luxurious silks to Europe and the Middle East, traveling in caravans along the Silk Road until two monks hid a handful of silkworm eggs in a hollow staff to take back to the Byzantine Emperor. Once the secret was out, the Chinese no longer held the power of this beautiful cloth. Only recently, China has once again become the center of silk making for the world, and their long tradition with the craft is the reason we traveled all the way to Shanghai to create our silk Silk to be a repairs. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Before we go, let's give Lady Zoo another hand. I'll see you next time on Maddie Talks Asian.